Here's a quick tip from the jewelry workshop. Hi, I'm Max Goodman here at Third Ward. I'm a jewelry instructor, and today I'm gonna to show you how to change your jeweler saw blade. This jeweler saw has a number of different components. It's got uh, four nuts, which change the tension on the blade, and it actually functions through tension. Eventually, I'll need this distance to be closer than this one. Um, so I'm gonna adjust the height here by loosening this nut, changing the height so that it's proper for my operation standard jewelry sawing. You also see I've got a little bit of the broken blade left in the saw. I'm going to go ahead and loosen this nut, remove the broken blade, keeping it where I can see it because you don't want those to litter the floor. They'll go right into your shoes. Um, and I'm going to just loosen up the saw frame here. This black washer is what's going to sandwich the blade between the frame and this nut. So I'm aiming for right between the black washer and the frame in front of the nut so that when I'm using the saw and pushing forward on the blade, the blade is supported. Jeweler saw blades are directional, um, so when I run my fingers up the blade, I should feel resistance. I'm running my fingers towards the top of the blade, and this way I know that when the teeth catch on my finger, I'm sure that they're pointing down when the blade is oriented in the saw and I'm ready to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and place this into the top section. You'll notice I'm bracing the saw frame against the table. It's really important to have both hands free for this procedure. So the blade is actually sitting between those two and in front of this nut. And also, you wanna make sure that you're bracing against something solid. If you try to do this just against your own body or with two hands, A, you're gonna lose one of your hands for use in um, correcting the blade, and B, you're not gonna have enough tension on the blade when you're finally ready to cut. You'll break a whole bunch of them. Tension is really crucial because it's the physics of this tool. It's how this tool works. So when I'm ready to place the lower half of the blade, you can see at first it doesn't fit, it doesn't reach. But when I add tension using my hip, or if I'm sitting down, I can also use my solar plexus, then I can press the two ends of the saw frame together and the blade will fit. Okay, so you can see as I'm tightening the blade, it's looking kind of wiggly and loose. And I release the pressure from my hip. And you can see now this distance is closer than this distance. Um, and that's how the, this steel of the, of the frame is holding the blade taut. Also, when I pluck it, it makes a high-pitched noise. Shouldn't sound low-pitched. If it sounds like a bass guitar, you haven't done it correctly. For more great ideas from the Jewelry Workshop, click the link.